Okay. Hello and welcome. Here we are, day 33 of the Feast for the Soul. My name is Sarah McLean, and I'm so happy that you're here. And I was thinking about this quote I had heard. Now, I want to get it right, and I'm not sure who even said it. But what you take for granted is the answer to somebody's prayer. Have you ever heard that? What you take for granted is the answer to somebody's prayer. Whether what it is is your daily breath or the fact that you have a roof over your head, whether you have a full stomach or you can go into the kitchen and make coffee because you're running water and electricity. You know, what you take for granted in your life is the answer to someone's prayer. Now, um, I know many of us, especially in the teacher training, have been talking a little bit about desire and intention and how it manifests. And so here we have this manifestation all around you. And I'm going to invite you to take a look around the space you're in or even at your home, the ceiling, the light fixtures, the, the plants outside, and, and start to recognize the fact, if it's true, that what you have surrounded yourself with are, are literally the manifestations of your desires. So whether it's the clothing you had a desire to buy, whether it's the pen that you love, whether it's uh, um, easiness of where you're sitting, every single thing in your environment, for the most part, now some of us inherit some stuff, I get that, but for the most part, everything is a manifestation of your desire. So when you look at life that way, and you also consider the fact that many people would do anything to be sitting in your home, they might be in a place where there's war, there's not enough food, they're not warm, they're not safe. They might have a desire for the health that you have. So looking at life that way, you can really appreciate the beauty of what you're living and the fact that there is an answer to a prayer. There is this manifestation of your desires. Now desire, I think it was Deepak Chopra who said, desire is the doorway between the unmanifest and the manifest. Desire is the doorway. So putting your attention on your desires can really help you to, um, I'd have to say, co-create, bring them into being. Now, we're not going to spend a lot of time with desires in meditation, but I want you to be aware of the fact that your natural desires are, well, natural. And the fact that you have desires to breathe, to have a beautiful life, to have lovely relationships, to feel safe and warm, to have um, a healthy body, those are actually the those desires are the doorway. So what does that mean? It means that wherever it is now, your desire is actually going to make it come into being, just like the people that are praying to have the life that you have or that I have. So with that attitude, we can become more grateful for the life that maybe we take for granted, for the friendships maybe we haven't, we haven't uh, cherished or relationships or health or breath. So with that in mind, I'm going to also talk to you about something else that's been on my mind and how these go together, we'll just see. You know, in the Buddhist tradition, they talk about the, the refuges, now taking refuge. So for me, I take refuge in my meditation practice and I know that you probably do too. But when times get tough, where do you go? In your mind, where do you go physically? What do you imagine? Who do you have in helping you? Who's on your team? Taking refuge is really, you know, when times are very tough, what do you turn to? Now, you can't always sit down and meditate, you know, if, if you're hearing bad news because you don't want to necessarily escape it. But who do you call on or what do you call on to help you? Once again, it's that relationship. It's the in-between calling on help from the unseen forces, or maybe you're even a good friend. It's the unseen relationships, but it's the space between calling for help and being helped. 
desiring something and having these manifestations. So I'm gonna invite you to close your eyes right now. If you feel comfortable doing that or gaze softly to the floor and settle into your seat right here. Maybe taking some deeper breaths. And reflecting on that question. Where do I turn for comfort, for refuge, for solace? Who do I turn to? Or what do I turn to? It could be the practice of being grateful. It could be prayer to God or a saint. Get a sense of your, I'd have to say, automatic go-to. Invite them into this practice. Invite the feeling of refuge into your practice today. That feeling of safety, of being held. And you may want to lay at the feet, metaphorically or physically in your mind, of whom and whatever you take refuge in, the problems that may be plaguing you today, the problems that may upset your peace, the petitions for others and yourself. perhaps having an inner dialogue. Hold this for me now. Help me with this now. Help them with their challenges too. as you mentally lay your burdens down. Bring your attention right here. Adopting that sense of appreciation for your life and for this moment. Letting your breath be natural, you might begin to appreciate each inhale, each exhale. Appreciating the facts, the fact that you can sense your breath. You're aware of your breath. Perhaps you appreciate the fact that you can breathe as easily as you can.
and that your body is easily able to use the oxygen to nourish it. it knows exactly what to do. Begin now to tune in to other sensations you might be feeling in your body. With the attitude of appreciation for the body, for your awareness. Perhaps you feel your heart beating. Perhaps you feel your face and the moistness in your eyes and mouth. Letting your attention be accompanied by this appreciation for that which we can often take for granted. Perhaps you feel your hands. Maybe they're holding each other. And appreciating all the gifts that your hands give to others and help you to create in your life. Perhaps you feel your spine as it reaches from your tailbone to the base of your skull, holding you upright. Meeting each sensation in each area of your body with appreciation. Let your body speak to you right now. As it does, it speaks in sensation. That relationship between the sensation and your awareness is where you can invite appreciation and love. And gratefulness. When the mind wanders off into a story, into a problem, or just getting distracted, you can lay that at the feet of that which you take refuge in. Come back here to appreciation.
appreciating your ability to hear and feel, to think and love. Imagine that, that where you're sitting now is a sacred place. That you are blessed in this very moment. Letting the beauty of your life be more visible to you. May behold what a miracle this very moment is. The miracle is not somewhere else. It's right here. It is your life. If you like, you can imagine that there are white flower petals of peace or a blessing of peace and love falling upon you right now. Inviting appreciation, a sense of being blessed, and awakening to the miracle that is your life. And see or imagine that these white flower petals of peace are not only falling gently upon you, but they're falling gently upon all the people that you love, all the beings that you care for. and awakening them to the fact that they are blessed too. Imagine now that these flower petals are not only for you and the beings that you love, but in fact, they cover the entire globe.
white flower petals of blessings and purity and peace that nourish people wherever they are, nourish beings wherever they may be, even in the midst of praying for warmth, shelter, or food. Maybe you feel it, and maybe you see it in your mind's eye. These flower petals of peace that cross the oceans, fall in the deserts, fall in the mountains and the forests. They fall in the cities. They fall in the prairies, the rivers. Gently falling like the kiss of God. easing the suffering. Waking everyone up to the fact that their life too is a miracle, no matter the circumstances. They are blessed in this life. Imagine these flower petals of peace making their way into places where the suffering is great, the war-torn cities or the prisons where animals or people are incarcerated, where people don't have enough food or water or safety. And just for a moment, there's a moment of awakening to the wonder of their lives, no matter the circumstances, to the sense of peace and being loved. I'm bringing your attention back to yourself in this moment that you're blessed in. Tuning into the blessing of your breath. As I read you a poem by John O'Donohue, the Irish, late Irish poet, I invite you to keep your eyes closed. It's his wish for you and for me and for all beings. May the beauty of your life become more visible to you. 
that you may glimpse your wild divinity. May the wonders of the earth call you forth from all your small secret prisons and set you free in the pastures of possibilities. May the light of dawn anoint your eyes that you may behold what a miracle a day is. May the angel of memory surprise you in bleak times with new gifts from the harvest of your vanished days. May you allow no dark hand to quench the candle of hope in your heart. May you discover a new generosity toward yourself and encourage yourself to engage your life as a great adventure. May the outside voices of fear and despair find no echo in you. May you always trust the urgency and wisdom of your own spirit. May the shelter and nourishment of all the good you have done, the love you have shown, the suffering you have carried, awaken around you to bless your life a thousand times. And when love finds the path to your door, may you open like the earth to the dawn and trust your every hidden color towards its nourishment of light. May you find enough stillness and silence to savor the kiss of God on your soul. And delight in the eternity that shaped you that holds you and that calls you. May you know that despite confusion, anxiety and emptiness, your name is written in heaven. May you come to see your life as a quiet sacrament of service. It awakens around you a rhythm where doubt gives way to the grace of wonder, where what is awkward and strained can find elegance and where crippled hope can find wings. Whatever torments you, enter at last unto the grace of serenity. May divine beauty bless you. invite you to continue to sit here in the recognition and the grace of your life, this moment, this miracle. Deeply realizing that you are blessed right now.
inviting you to sit here with your eyes closed for another minute or so. Perhaps having the intention to continue to recognize your life as a blessing, and to appreciate the world that you're in, that you've created. Recognizing that everything comes forth simply because of your desire. That you're blessed. So let's not forget that as you stretch into the space around you, blessed by the space that you stretch into, appreciating the fact you can stretch and deepen your breath. And slowly, slowly begin to open your eyes, appreciating the fact that you can close and open your eyes. And you can see what you see. My prayer is that we don't take our lives for granted and that we can bask in the appreciation of our lives. And that's where I go for refuge, is into gratitude. So thank you for practicing with me today. I like to use John O'Donohue's wor words, may the beauty of your life become more visible to you. That you may glimpse your wild divinity. So thank you for being here. Hope you're doing okay. Um, that prayer, poem was John O'Donohue from Beauty, the Invisible.